Hi, in this video we're going to integrate the inverse tangent of x squared with respect to x. This is the same thing as the arc tangent, and we're going to do it by evaluating it as a power series, and we're also going to find the radius of convergence. So first recall the formula that we usually use in these problems is a very basic one. It says if you have 1 over 1 minus x, this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of x to the n. And this formula is valid if the absolute value of x is less than 1. Okay, So here what we're going to do is recall also that the derivative of our 10, which is 10 inverse, same thing, is this. So what we're going to do is basically take the derivative of this function here and then we're going to find a power series for the derivative because we could find a power series for things that kind of look like this using this formula. Uh, and then we'll integrate to get back the power series for this and then we'll integrate term by term. So <laughs> it's a lot. So let's do it one step at a time. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this. So we have 10 inverse of x squared and we're taking the derivative. I have not done this problem. I thought it just looked kind of fun, so I thought, let me just make a video. So we're taking the derivative, so we're using this formula. So it's one over one plus x squared squared, right, using the formula times the derivative of the inside function. We're using the chain rule, so two x. So you take the derivative of the outside function, that's the formula here, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So this is 2x over 1 plus x to the fourth. So now what we'll do is we'll write this as a power series. So I'm going to do this as follows. I'll put a 2x here and write it like this. One, And then um, it's 1 plus x to the fourth, but we need a minus for the formula. So you can do a double minus like this. Very nice. I love these problems. You see that? Negative and negative is positive. Now we can apply this beautiful formula. So we get 2x infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of minus x to the fourth to the n power. And this is valid if the absolute value of minus x to the fourth is less than 1, which basically means x to the fourth is less than 1. Uh, so our interval is basically going to be something like this. So our radius, this is a power series centered at zero. So our radius is going to be one. Okay, you can just look at it and say it's centered at zero. And this is going to imply all of this. And the radius is just always this distance. Um, let's keep going. This is equal to 2x infinite sum, zero to infinity. There's really a negative 1 here, so we can break this up using properties of exponents as uh, negative 1 to the n, x to the 4n, right? n times 4 is 4n. Let's distribute this through. Infinite sum, 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n. I'll put the 2 here. There's an x to the 1 here. When you multiply by this, you add the exponents, so it becomes x to the 4n plus 1. And what is all this? This is the derivative of this guy here. Okay, So we need to integrate this because we need to get this back. So integrating this, we just get this. Integrating this, we integrate term by term. So we have the infinite sum. And this is going to be 2, negative 1 to the n. And then this is a constant, so you just integrate this. So you get x to the 4n plus 2 because you add 1 and then divide by the result, 4n plus 2. And we also do get uh, a constant of uh, integration. So um, I'm just going to add it here at the end, plus c. Okay. So now we have the integral, tan inverse x squared dx. So now we integrate again. So we have infinite sum n equals 0 to infinity, 2 times negative 1 to the n. Integrating again, we're going to get x to the 4n plus 3 over, and I'm going to, the 4n plus 2 stays there. 
and then we get another 4m plus 3 here. And then integrating c, we get cx plus another constant, which I'll call capital K. Yikes, right? So that would be um, the integral of, um, of, of this here using power series. What a crazy problem. So yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.